This is Sarut with College Times and I'm reporting from Baikonur, Kazakhstan. This is the launch city where UAE's first Emirati astronaut is going to rocket off into space. Behind me is actually the Soyuz FG rocket which is going to take Haza to space. The Soyuz spacecraft is going to be attached to this rocket so that he can be transported to the International Space Station. The next step for this rocket is to be fueled. Currently, it's been verticalized and has been put into position so that it is ready for liftoff on September 25. We've been here in Bekunu for the past week tracking Haza and his backup Sultan Al Nayari while they do their final activities ahead of this historic mission. College Times got access to the astronauts even though they are in quarantine until Haza launches to space. This is their actual Soyuz spacecraft. He and his crew, American astronaut Jessica Mayer and Russian cosmonaut Oleg Skripchoka will be traveling in. On September 20, they did their final Soyuz seat testing and so-called suit fitting to ensure all things are in order. This is a sample of what their spacecraft looks like from the inside. It's a three-seater vehicle with very limited space inside and gets even tighter once the cargo has been placed in. The next time Haza wears a Sokol suit and sits in the spacecraft will be on launch day. We followed them for nearly the full day while keeping our medical wear on to ensure the astronauts do not get exposed to any bacteria or germs. The primary and backup crew were later required to speak to officials from Roscosmos, which is the Russian Space Agency, NASA, and Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center. They were asked questions on whether the fitting and final test went smoothly. Here, the crew gives a green light to the officials. <laughs> They continued their day with a tour to the Baikonur Cosmodrome Museum, where the primary crew signed a wall that is dedicated to all astronauts and cosmonauts who have been to the International Space Station before. <laughs> <laughs> the primary and backup crew also took part in a signing ceremony and handed over signed copies of the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center logo, a copy of UAE Space to Race book, and a UAE flag to the curators of the museum. The items will be kept there to honor the Soyuz MS-15 mission, which makes Hazza the first Emirati to go to space and the first Arab on the ISS. Haza also signed a special book that is kept at the museum and includes a special message from astronauts. He wrote his message in Arabic. At the museum, they were also shown some of the historical objects from Russia's space journey that has been stored in this building for decades. Keep tracking Khalid Times as we bring you live updates from here at Baikonur, Kazakhstan. This is Sarwat signing off.